and welcome back to another Modern Skyblock 2 with Wayno episode 56. I forgot to rename the other one, but that's fine because yeah. Anyway, we were continuing on making uh, blue stained glass. Now I actually don't know how to make blue stained glass, but I think it is by smashing it with a die or lapis. Back to the lapis. So I was hoping to be further finished in this. We were well, doing this so we can do something else. Uh, let's try. There we go. A blue stained glass. So we will whack that back in there and put this in there. Put this back up in there. Give us a little bit more inventory space. Dump all this in here. Don't need that, that actually needs to go back. Anyway, that'll do for now. So, um, we were looking at what we required and I needed these two over here. So I think this gives you three. And the next part is one redstone. I was so close to remembering that. Never built one before, so, well, I lied, I built three of them in the last one, but I think the recipe was different. And I actually need to build more redstone. Okay, more redstone it is. That's why this is all set up to be as automated and as much less requirements as possible. Uh oh. Nope. I keep forgetting to turn it off. There goes 64. I'll just let that on blowing up in the background. So. Nope, I don't need to be here. So this table actually seems to be useful due to you be able to make these really, really cheaply. So if we do this, this, and this, and bam, we got three. So I think I'll leave that in there. But I think I might have to move that workstation up here. Hmm. Um, well when I rework a lot of this stuff, you'll be good. Because I'll probably use the transfer pipe and power on the new items that are up in here. So, but this plus two more of them equals nothing. Because we didn't make that. Let's try this again. Bam! Headshot! Look, look at this. Look, 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 look. Everybody, 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 look at this. Come on, let's do a lap around here because this is this is what all you should be looking at and cheering me on for. So, yep, you even look, you, you, we even go this way. Then we fall and die. So, see, look, look, look everybody, look, see? The victory lap of making this. See? Nah! Take that. Yeah. See? This, this is what hard work is. And you, you, you people over here, well, you animals. Look. Look at it. Look. Look. Look at it, I said! Stupid animal. Meh. Meh. Yeah, you all look at it. That's it. Yeah, that's it, sheepy. You know what it is, don't ya? Yeah, see? Victory lap done. I'm just awesome. So, I better go back and collect all that actual cobblestone because I need to expand the base out. I know I'm an idiot. Yes, yes, yes. I know I am, and I do stupid stuff like that all the time. Not on camera. Mostly it's usually just me behind scenes. Or just me being acting like an idiot in real life. So, in here this is where we're going to build the... Um, uh, all the area. This is going to have... Um, I don't know how many cloches it actually requires to do the canola seeds. So, but before I do the canola seed full setup, or actually using it, it will get a full setup of each oils and everything first. So, it will have all of the um, uh, the three type of oils and then into the generator as I already have power gen. So, yeah, so it will just be easier if I just do it that way. So I can just go instantly, bam, there is all the power required. So... Yes. Because 
the canola generators are quite good. So got a little Swedish there. don't have another one. Really? I don't? I must have used it. Okay, so anyway, so they probably yeah. want to start over this side. So, because we do need a big area. So if I do that here, um, actually that is quite close to this pump then, this water source. So I probably could ninja it off of here, which I might do, but yeah. I'll actually go down underneath then back up and this is the output side so this will have the canola and will make canola seed so I'll have a few things happening you can watch me build it so I don't know how many that would this one of these would run um, but I'll need to get canola press running and a few other bits and pieces okay so um, See, now this is this is where I've got stuck again because I want to still do astral sorcery <sighs> because astral sorcery looks fun and it's a new mod so I've never used so and also I need to clean up this area and I need to do an applied uh, Lamagistic setup and and my manulin is done How many manual blocks did it make? One, 14 blocks. It didn't duplicate them. And one Ardite. Huh. Oh no, actually, sorry. That will be the last one. So that's actually not enough blocks. I thought it doubled. One block nine, so 13, 14 blocks. Huh. That didn't work out the way I wanted. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, that's fine because I will just make some more. So yeah. I wonder if it would have been made in a different one. Yeah. Did that actually make one out of the system? It did not. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Do that. Um, okay. Is there something in there? Must have been something in there. Stuck. Uh, oh! Yes, that. Clear that out. Give me at least one block, uh, one of them. Um, so there's only one place that you make it. Oh, so it's a wonder. It's one to one or two to one recipe. Ha. Okay. Is there another way? Okay, where's the ingots for this damn thing? So there's the powder, but that's there. Uh, actually, I want to go one back and click used. gets used in something else. So that's still one to one there, or two to one. So it looks like it's one to one across the board. Hmm. That is not what I was after. I thought they were at least giving you the two to so we need to make more cobalt and um Ardite now, so hopefully this will make enough 
so it made five, so that's good. And then we put the five into here. While that waits, I can do that. And how much of this do we have left? So we need more glass anyway. That is a disappointment because we need 16 and the way that it has gone it did not create 16 so we're going to have to hopefully get three out of this so it looks like we're pulling in three on every five uh, four actually because we got one left so Yep, so we got four, and then we duplicate it again, and this will give us a heap more. So this seems to be the easiest way to do it, because I got a piece from, um, yeah, the other way through magma cream will probably take longer, but yeah, we still need to do that starlight anyway set up. I don't know why I said starlight, but it's just, yeah. So, um, okay, I'll wait for that to finish. I know that will um, not work in there. So, Okay, we made four, nine, so it uses quite a bit, but we need this to jump into the casings a lot earlier. So, I would go the Resonant Ender, because that is insanely, you know, good, but you need to, yeah, you need Platinum, Lead, and Resonant Ender. And yeah, probably could do it, but I'll just jump into this one and then do that one later when I'm more set up in the other places. So we made 18 again, and we'll let that run. Probably could have just gone to Ender anyway. We do have enough Ender pearls and that to melt, but Platinum, let's have a look at Platinum, see how easy Platinum is. Uh, platinum. Oh, platinum's just golden. And that, and that's only at 55% use. So the same again will give us quite a bit. So we, we could actually just go to it into the casing, but we'll need heaps though. Because you're thinking these are all plates. That's four, plates are one. So that's eight, twelve for all this. Um, and then in the condenser. 800 C. Oh, man, that is so nice. So then there's all the plates again. Ah, we won't be able to because we need to do this. So we won't be able to make the condenser. But we can do this. But this one here, we not even in dark matter. Six. Oh my god. 350% so you need a stack of these my god two emerald and six alchemy diamonds damn and you think you need all this so we're not we're not going there I mean I can't even get to the dark matter so you think look at the dark matter empowered void tungsten ingot and ludicrite ingot and ludicrite you need from your ludicrite crushed so how's that made I don't even know how it's made so it looked like it's from this small pile from here but okay it must be a byproduct from extreme reactors somehow 
so I don't even know how to get that just as yet. So it looks like, um, yeah, I can make the casings, but the condenser is the, yeah, you can't do the condenser, which would be a big jump, but, oh look at the signalum, I didn't even look at that, so I could go, oh, hmm, see, I, I really would like to know about the efficiency, because this speed is slow, but this efficiency is higher, or I could actually go end stone, what do I need for that? Ah, oh, now see, back to this again. So, and then it's back to the dark matter. So, should really see it. So, if I go manulin, speed. See, the speed for this is high, 241. So, going to the manulin one might not be the better. It might be going actually to the condenser. Because I'm already 130 efficiency there. So, going to this one and, and getting that extra speed, 241 to 360 but yeah you're dropping speed but gaining efficiency um, and I think this is the efficiency what you're actually after I'll need to look it up I should go on the website and actually read what this the efficiency actually means so we have more Ardite which I need to get more Manulin so yeah. I'll crush up one more. And this will give us our R diet. What is this R diet used for anyway? So you can get R diet dust, which is I'm already using anyway. R diet seed, R diet gear, a stick, uh, crushed. Um, pretty much the same, same. So it doesn't look like it's really made for much other than. Yeah, not made for much. It used to be worth something having Ardite, but now uh, put that in there for backup. Okay, so hmm, signalum casing, which is. silver, copper and distilled redstone, oh no, destabilized redstone, so, hmm, it's 250, so if I make, yeah, I think between episodes I'm going to read up on that, because I know everything plays into effect, but how much effect is what you're looking at? See, that's actually quite good because that's even. So, but you need that. So, if you could, if you could make, so that one, yeah. If you can make your dark, st uh, the tertius one, dark steel, you could just go straight out and just make that. This one is, you know, yeah. So, hopefully, by then I should be in the end and actually making massive amounts of farms everywhere. Now, since going all through that, I lost out what I was doing, um, making the canola presses and all that. So, with the setup there, how I go, um, I want to try using integrated. Yeah, crap! What was it called? Um, this thing here, this this mod. Integrated Dynamics. How am I spelling it wrong? Oh, Integrated. Oops, and I'm missing the at symbol. That would help better. So here we go. Oh, we got pink stuff this time. Liquid Chorus. Hmm, cool. And it looks like it uses pretty much for nothing. A Logic Detector. Crystallide Chorus Chunk. And there's some other stuff down here, but these are another mod. So anyway, I want to use this because I watched Direwolf20 set his up and I was just like, wow, that is really, really cool. 
Um, I didn't use it in my age of engineering um, because I didn't have a clue and I just used it with redstone and the one that I like, the other one with the screwdriver and the little pad and you build the tiny piles of redstone on it and I can't remember that mod pack called so and I really like it so I did that set up and it worked perfectly not an issue so I really want to get into this because it looks awesome but I need to get a sapling which actually is not too hard but a oh, mushroom really which is grown from a fern or grass so that's actually quite easy so I can I can process all that so that's all good um, and then you need to get into the sapling and hopefully get another sapling out of it and grow your trees jump on it squish it down yeah so we'll see anyway but this is for will be for the next episode um, and then I will need to make a ton of stuff beforehand um, like I'll need to make um, I need to work out how many how many of these will actually this produce if this one keeps up with the um, three setups that I'm going to have it's going to be from here into three canola presses and then three um, three setups of the changing liquids and stuff and then rinse and repeat I actually probably need to move this out further because I don't think I'll have enough room because this will hit it because um, it is quite large the setup I might actually turn it to face this way and then and the power can run out and back so leave this here canola presses and then the three set up that way and then pump the liquid around to back to here um, and then the three generators like here and then off to the power because it's quite close so I will get a list of items I need and I'll probably end up creating all of it soon but yeah so I did not put any more but we have seven and we have quite a few that still full on blood because oh no it's slowly going down so because this is probably blocked from the um, nope that's still all there so it's slowly going down which is fine because all these witches in here with all their little witch hatches, hat, hat, hatches, hats. So we need to break this down and move it. So um, let's see. Let's see how this is going. So this is maxed out. It's not even. Good. It's not even. Yeah. So we are making quite a bit out of this. Two lithium dust, two eulorium. Would like some more eulorium, but the chances of that is nothing. So probably to keep up this, we'll probably need another rock crusher. You know, right here. Exactly the same setup, but power will probably end up going underneath, which I usually do. But my setup was... Um, what do you call it? A setup is just still basic. Um, I know we can get flight, but the problem is we're needing into bees for flight, and I really would like to get into that. So, but I really want to set up my um, power. I think I might just do one power for now, because um, that will make it quick and easy. So, one here, one canola press. From the canola press, uh, making um, I need to make another set of um, that stuff up there. I know the name of it. Um, the Empowerer, so you need to set up another one of them, or I might even just borrow this for now and then set up another one, because I don't need any of the power crystals or anything, because I'm actually not producing anything, the only thing I really need or want to do is actually that, so yeah, so in next episode, well that's what's going to be for the next epi couple episodes, is just getting the canola press up and running because you need a lot of stuff you need the droppers um, so you need so I'll actually only need one dropper and then you'll need a fluid these two one of each of these a collector uh, so two buckets 
and you need an auto placer and then you'll need the collector which is more buckets that's why I made six buckets originally um, and once that once I get that up and running I'll actually be able to start the um, oh what do you call it applied lumber logistics because that will be a constant power without actually having to um, worry about running out of everything. I probably could have ran it off what I've got now, but I didn't want to, you know, run out of power completely. See, this thing is, yeah, it's slowly depleting. It's got heaps of fuel left, so the waste is like mm, really, really low. Um, I really should actually you be using because this thing. It's only flicking on and off, but it is charging up quite a bit. But it's only on for a few milliseconds, so I'm guessing I must be... Well, that's 66, and that's 100 and something, and that's a tick. So I don't know what they're running over there at, so I, I might see. But I don't know. I mean, I'm past all this. I should be on bigger power. I should be actually on solar panel by now, but yeah, that solar's more of, you know, I thought they would get it earlier. See, so you need one of these, and you need these, and these are one diamond and that, which is easy to make. And the interconnect is just this stuff, but the problem was this. So it's not actual uh, early game at all, it's end game. Hardened block, hopper site, lead crystal. So yeah, you're not going to see that for ages, so... Yeah, you're not going to see that at all. Um, I probably could end up making a couple of windmills. I should have done that because that's pumping in, you know, over a hundred RF a tick. So, so you look at that. Well, that's currently at 72, 73, 71. So that's actually quite low. That's only just beating the water mill. But if you set up the water mill, you get 88, so it would beat that. So, but on a stormy night, that thing's cranking at like 200, or a windy day. So, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to cut this episode short, and I'm going to write down everything I need because the next episode is going to be very intensive on what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if I'll leave this for on camera or not to sort out because break that and move all this um, I will keep that because that seems handy I didn't realize how powerful it was I actually could use it over there with no power I don't know the range on it oh I picked it up so I don't know the actual range I could actually find out quite easily oh so, it, so let's try this block Okay, so that block it will pick up there. So when you get what one, two, three, let's try four. Four is fine. Five is not. So that actually still could work over here perfectly, and it would not need power because this is draining 80 RF per pickup. I'm wondering if that's four in every direction. So one, two, three, four. Yes, so that is. So this would actually be better on that. So it doesn't need a whitelist. Oh, it doesn't have a whitelist though. So, but how far am I away from? So, one, two, three, four, five. So it probably would pick up these trees still. That's fine. So, but I'll leave it because we're going to be doing some stuff anyway. This is the end of the episode. It is only a minute off of what we need, or what, half an hour-ish of each episode. I will write down what I'm doing, but I will be doing um, the canola seed um, power system all night, because I don't know what that means. Um, once I get that set up, it will be the applied energistics, oh, sorry, llama logistics. Llama. I'll just do llama. I know what that is. And then I'll really want to play with the astral sorcery. So, uh, astral source. I will know what that is. So, and that will be my idea for it. I will probably just steal this because I don't think I'll need much 
crystals or anything for applied and uh, Larmagistics, I mean we'll so we'll need to make this set up we'll need to get some seeds rolling but we need a inscriber which is just yeah so we'll need actually quite a few of these um, powered ones which we have quite a few so we can do them without making more have a quick look at the charger which is SFA uh, ME controller yeah so we we should be able to do this quite easily without needing them and then I will probably get another rock crusher up just to do nether um, and actually oh that's what I might do I might quickly next episode make the nether um, one and then this will be the um, end of the episode anyway it is the end of the episode so I will see you next episode um, yeah so have fun and later